we're about to get our first big fight. Well, then again, first episode, Sakura pretty much did like a 1v50. But first, like, real gang fight. We got Shishi Tosen or something, which are a bunch of tiger boys in the pursuit of strength. Apparently, their whole dynamic changed whenever that new captain showed up. And our side, we got the Bofuri. We got fucking Gojo Satoru. We got Ryuen. We got all these boys that we're familiar with. And how strong is Umemiya, really? I think he's super strong, but the show was kind of making us think that he's just a pacifist. Doing a little bit of gardening, simping for, you know, that girl. And I just feel like today's episode, maybe we'll see a glimpse of how serious he can get. Let's begin today's reaction. Hello. Everyone got their own matchups, right? And look at him. He's just acting like a little kid, like a brat. But like, he's fucked in the head, right? <laughs> it's all worn down compared to our town. It's all closed off. Our town is flourishing because both of them protect, but here, all the businesses and shops kind of just locked up. It's the biggest pub district. They're just not open until nighttime? Good question! Why is he here? Why does he exist? Motherfucker doesn't fight! He doesn't even have a matchup! He straight up doesn't have a matchup! He only exists to just be like... No! Do you be the annoying fuck? I'm being annoying right now. But he, he is there to be the straight man and just to like highlight these moments of ridiculousness and be the perspective of the common person to further exaggerate the moment. But like, bro, this is every fucking minute. I would like, like, this is like the worst example of a hype man. You know, there are other straight men like this. There are other, you know, normal people around, you know, a group of monsters that can kind of enhance the experience, right? And they create the fucking hype. They'll commentate, they'll fucking glaze that shit up. This dude is so fucking, like, depressing. He thinks that we will never win. He has no faith in us. Even though he glazes, you know, Bofurin, right? How does that make sense? Last episode too, he just keeps doubting and doubting. He's not glazing, he's just hating. Motherfucker better win a fight. I'm never gonna respect him until he does that. This better be the character development of a lifetime, man. Holy shit. Another blush. Senpai, are you nervous? Where are you taking us, bro? In the back alley? Are we getting jumped? No. They wouldn't, right? It's a sanctity of a duel. Okay. This is the battlegrounds? The Orlon. Orion! <laughs> Orion! The sub. I thought the I was an L. L was an I. It's a movie theater that went out of business. He's so fucking book ready. Oh, yo! This is actually hype! This is actually hype. Looking like a straight up a map from like Tekken or Street Fighter. So the fighting area is the stage and you have an entire audience. This is a sick... <laughs> Shut the fuck up, pussy. You're not even fighting. <laughs> Throw back. Throwback. <laughs> You're not even here to fight. Can we make him back alive? Yeah, the other boys can. I don't know about you. Okay. I think the way that this goes is like, it's like repeated 1v1s, right? Or do we keep swapping? Because my understanding was like, basically, it, you got like 6 and 6. I'm not sure if the orange hair kid's fighting. But it's like 1v1, and if one goes down... That winner stays, newcomer comes in, 1v1. If he, win, if he wins again, newcomer goes down. So one person could technically solo it, right? Is it this kind of match or is it 1v1, done, and then 1v1, done, and I don't know. Okay, okay. It's, it, I thought it would be more group oriented, but it's just like straight up only Umemiya versus that kid's match matters. Everyone else is like, you can just fight for fun. Hey. 
感情に入ろうが入らなかろうが。あ、ウィンだってよ。つく。さあ、really、やろう。早くやろう。いやいや。大。大将。リウン vs リウン。オッケー、リウン vs リウン、レッツゴー。ああ。杉下君、ラブコールもらっちゃったね。ラブコール。All right, let's see who's a better Ryu in here, guys. So you better not lose until I beat you. All right, all right. Sometimes I wonder if there's something wrong in his head because he actually just like acts like an animal. Bro, like, actually, is like a guard dog. So he does talk sometimes, but like, he never talks. Kill him! You can't kill! Can you? <laughs> That's crazy that he had to flip through his diary that much because of all the info he has. Holy shit. His role is like, exists to be the straight man, but also to provide like backup exposition and lore behind other characters to kind of like hype them up. Heavy hitter, power type. No way! Wait, wait, wait. I'd feel sorry for him to be put in the same league as that guy. Meaning, our Ryuan is way better than their Ryuan. That's what Umemi is saying right now, right? <laughs> I can't get over his voice actor, man. <laughs> Just yell Ayano Koji once for me, man. <laughs> Ayano Koji! <laughs> <All right. laughs> Dirty! Dirty! <laughs> Right in the face, but now he good, he good, he good, right? <laughs> it's already over. Son, Umemiya son. Oh, yo, yo, what? Sakura and Umemiya had utmost confidence. You see this shit? Everyone else was like, oh no, he got tricked there. But it's like, nah, nah. Are you one better, bro? That looked weird. I'm not gonna do this anymore. <laughs> I gotta do it like this. <laughs> I gotta do it like this. Show some respect. Laser eyes. That's a one shot. Yo, what? Yo, what? The biggest Umemiya meat rider, man. Awfully quiet. Y'all were hyped before. Where are you at? Pussy, you scared? First year single handedly. It's one shot. This guy is the zestiest gangster I've ever seen in my life. Even when he talks, he's cool. Like, oh, I, oh, I can't do this. I can't do this. I really need to see him fight. How does he fight? I need to know. Choji finds it fun, yeah? He's actually blushing. He's actually blushing, bro. What about the second in command, though? <laughs> Which I think is actually better. Fuck this, like, tribalism. It's just here, it's all about the pursuit of strength. So I don't care if you're from a different school. If you're stronger, we will respect. I feel like that's more better than just, like, always oh, just meat riding your own team sometimes. <laughs> But there is that aspect of like shitting on your teammates because they were weak, right? That's kind of bad. <laughs> he probably loves this shit. He, he probably loves this shit just getting slapped in the face by Umemiya, bro. This is probably his best day. Sakura is actually so bored. It's not like I care about him or anything. It's just that I'm gonna be the one to beat him. <laughs> Alright, next matchup. Next matchup, who is it? Kamichan got real quiet. What do you mean? Yeah. Bro's been locked in for a while. Take his body out. <laughs> get rid of that. <laughs> what do you mean, get rid of it? What do you mean? What's going on with him? What's going on with Mr. Zesty here? Is he upset about the body, like, bot getting rid of the body right now? Like, w what is the specific scene here? Hmm. Angry? Upset? 
Okay, you know how I said like how they are only about the pursuit of strength so nothing fucking matters and I said, well, that's actually kind of great because now, you know, they'll respect anyone that's actually strong. But the bad side of that is, you know, they don't give a fuck about their teammates if they're weak, right? If, they, if someone loses, it just doesn't matter. So we just look at him. Bro, looking like Yamcha on the fucking ground right now. Yo, someone please check his pulse. Is he alive? <laughs> no! What? <laughs> Oh. <laughs> I'm not gonna try to start. You ain't even fighting yet. Quit yapping near me. How dare you breathe the same air in the same room? Because you're weak. You're not actually strong. Oh! <laughs> Fight! Come on! Kids! Kids like them? How much older are you, DiCaprio? Oh, That's the Gamoy. That's the Gamoy I'm talking about, man. Choji just acts like a kid. Oh, yeah. But then sometimes his eyes just pitch fucking black the abyss. Zesty is still in the corner there, biting his nails. What is up with them? Chuni Decap versus Zesty? Is that? Okay, the cap's gonna win. How is he gonna fight? Let's see. He's very stressed out. He really likes biting his nails, man. What? What? He didn't take him seriously. True. He's not just all talk. So I can keep up with you. The cap actually puts Sakura above him. Really? I thought that he kind of still like was like higher than him, but he actually thinks that he's beneath them. Maybe in terms of like ambition. More blushing. More blushing. Yeah, what kind of guy is he? Tell me. That eye patch though. In the episode that he got introduced, did his eye patch reveal that he was just wearing it for tuning reasons? Or is there an actual reason? I forget. Did it reveal his eye in that episode? I can't remember because I was laughing too much about how he called himself fucking Leonardo DiCaprio while being tuning the entire time. Is the eye mechanic hidden? Is he hiding some kind of secret power? The, the fucking uh, Reiatsu is all sealed in like this is fucking Kenpachi Zaraki or some shit. I don't know, man. Okay, so we don't know what's wrong with this eye. Okay. What about that eye? Why is he so mysterious? He does! Oh, he's upset for Arima. That's why he's biting his nails. I, I, well, I, well, during the treatment of Arima, he was starting to bite his nails. I'm like, I guess he cares about him a lot. Maybe that's his boyfriend. Is Arima? Nuachan's boyfriend? Maybe? Is that a ship? Am I crazy? No, I think I'm, I think I'm onto something here, man. His boyfriend just got fucked. Just got dumpstered in front of him, bro. Yeah, that guy was weak. What about Arima? Alright, kind of like childhood friends. He really loves calling other people kids, man. <laughs> Whittle boy going quiet. His eyes change. His eyes change, bro. Before this, he was all smiley, kind gentleman. Now, nah, what is he really like? Why do we know nothing of him? Why was he changing middle schools? Why is he so popular but no records? What's going on here? Oh. No cliffhanger, please. No cliffhanger, please. Come on. Oh. What is this? <laughs> is this Akido? What, what is this? You know that Steven Seagal guy? No, no, no. Yeah, yeah. there's like that uh, Hollywood actor, that old dude who has like, you know, bullshit fucking jujitsu shit that he just like, people come at him, he just touches him, they just fucking flip and shit. Like, what was that? <laughs> oh, what is the soundtrack? Oh! He's so slick! 
He's so smooth. 必要なもの。なんだと思う ？The resolve to kill. The adult to grow. Bro's like fifteen. Insane this shit. What is this? Tai Chi? Agunaka. Letting him? Nothing. 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 So he's just not even trying, deflecting everything, parrying him, and just making him look like a fool, even though he could finish the food whenever he wants, because this is his real personality. Oh, he's just Straight up. Like, like, I don't know if you guys have ever been in a fight. I've never really been in a real fight, but I have played fighting games, and you're gonna say it's not the same thing. Let me explain. Let me explain. This is a game I used to play. I still play Super Smash Bros. Melee. These fighting games, they have high skill ceilings, and when the enemy is better than you, they could humiliate you in a way that you just feel like you're worth fucking nothing. You grind and grind and grind and think that you're kind of good, and you fight someone that actually knows how to play a fighting game, and they're in your fucking head without even trying. They start doing disrespectful shit that they shouldn't even be trying. They're not even doing frame perfect shit. They're just trying experimenting on you, and you just feel like nothing. I totally get this. Completely humiliating when there is an audience that's just laughing at you, saying, "Bro, what are you doing?" It's like, what am I supposed to do? This is, I'm just outskilled. Because of Sakura, Sakura affected him. I want to catch up to you, or something, right? He said that. I bet he was serious as part with that. I think he takes Sakura seriously. So smooth. God, I can't believe he got his own fucking soundtrack, bro. This is actually playing with your food. He just uses the enemy's momentum. You know what? You're right. You know what? We should be respecting Kanuma for his fucking, you know, durability. The fact that he took like 20 different hits and he's still standing. Bro, his HP is fucking huge. Great punching bag. Numa-chan, what you gonna do? Choji's sleeping. Choji is actually sleeping, Numa-chan. That jacket coming off. <laughs> Giving up and moving out of the school? I don't know. <laughs> End him! Oh, he could stop him fucking quick. Was that a kick in the face? It stopped right there! Oh, bro is just describing what's gonna happen now. Oh, he's like humiliating him, destroying his psyche. He's like, this is not just like a physical battle anymore. He's like mentally crushing him until he can never stand up again. Imagination. Oh, he's back to the handsome gentleman. What's the next step? Wait, wait, wait! Why is he posing like that? No, no! Come on! The moment that he actually started to do some cool pose, bro. So far, he just been walking around, just flipping him. Come on, that was the finisher. You take the hit then. I'm sorry, man. You were unmatched. It's just unfair how unmatched this was. Honestly, why do you want to be with them? They fucking suck. They just throw you away once you prove that you're weak. And as soon as this guy fucking dies, they'll throw you away too. Straight up, every one of these people will lose and then they'll realize that, oh shit, I'm just gonna get thrown away. So like maybe this school that you signed up for is an absolute piece of shit. Like like what is the fucking idea here? We're gonna beat every one of them. What happens when we beat every one of them? None of you can be fucking allowed to stay here anymore. That's the fucking rule. Do you empathize with them? So deep and philosophical, man. Bro, he's too fucking cool. This entire title was this, this title is called Gentleman. That's the entire episode's dedicated towards him, even though you know the other guy also. Shishitoshi also had a fight. Is that the episode? That is the episode. Man. Shishitoshi, either one shot, Ryuin versus Ryuin. That was fucking sick. 
I think they made a pretty cool play of just like having an insane feat right off the bat, one-shotting this dude. He looks fucking sick. And then dedicating the rest of the episodes towards, you know, our man, Tuni DiCaprio. Something about him is very off because his history is mysterious. He doesn't really have any records to track. But he's kind of famous, even though we don't really know who he really be. There must be some kind of past that happened that may, you know, also correlate with the eye patch, right? I mean, obviously it does, because he got this in the past. This got to be an injury, right? Unless he's pulling some dumb shit where it's just like, oh, I'm doing some chuny shit and hiding my full powers in here. Nah, something must have happened here. And that's going to be some stuff later on with this character. His entire character, I didn't really know what to expect. He just seemed like a cool, chill dude. And he, that's pretty much what he is. A cool, chill gentleman that sometimes likes to fucking humiliate the enemy. But is it humiliation or is he just trying to teach him, right? I feel like Numachan got enlightened today. He realized that maybe this school's not it. Maybe he should go somewhere else. The imagination turning into reality. His imagination of being trounced by his fellow teammates, right? I feel like this is not a, you know, it, this is a lecture. He taught him a fucking lesson. He's so fucking sick. I wonder what kind of martial art this is. It feels like some kind of, mm, Aikido, Tai Chi, Jiu Jitsu, you know, maybe pretty much like using the enemy's, you know, momentum and body weight against them, right? So, I don't know. Looks pretty sick, and that's it for me. If you're still here, if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlists for more content, and until next time, take care.